YouTube. So I got a bunch of freight that I need moved. It's 2019, 2020. I got a bunch of freight that I need to get moved. Bunch of freight to get to a bunch of people that aren't working. <laughs> Everything shut down. What can I do? What can I do? Well, I got an idea. Let's pay. Uh, let's pay um, these drivers more money to entice them to continue working and um, and and keep the keep keep things keep the shelves stocked. The other guy says, "Well, I got I got a better idea. Let's hire a bunch of people." with no experience, with pure desperation running through their veins. Let's pay them next to nothing and let's move this freight as cheap as we can. And the guy that says, oh, the guy that was telling everybody to pay everybody, all of a sudden now he's going, hey, you know what? That sounds like a much better idea. Let's hire a bunch of desperate people, whether they're coming out of prison, whether they're new into the country, whether they're zero education, maybe they come from um, certain parts of the country where there isn't any work, and let's, let's all just get, let's throw CDLs at them, let's get them on the road, and then we're going to cry about how uh, how, how unsafe the roads are and how truck drivers are the problem. Does that sound familiar? And then what we'll do, what we'll do after that is we'll, in, we'll increase the insurance rates. We'll, we'll get them on the front side and we'll get them on the back side. We'll get them coming and we'll get them going. Yeah, you know, a lot of people will sit here on these uh, on this YouTube and they'll say, trucking is broken. Trucking is broken. It needs to be repaired. Well, I'll tell you, my opinion is you can't break something that was never built properly in the first place. Well, it's always been... Uh, a, an industry of misfits, people of uh, low education, I've said it before, desperation, and, and those are the kinds of people that get taken advantage of, right? Those, the, you know, we are the kind of people that get taken advantage of. We don't have the resources. You know, we're, we're caught in that vicious trap, that cycle. And, um, and and we're just desperate to try to, you know, we've got just enough, uh, just enough motivation left to, to take a kick at the can, shift our whole lives to the interstates, the roads, be over the road for shit. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing people are out on the road, haven't been back to their house their quote unquote home place, right? Their home base uh, for six months, eight months, a year, two years, you know, can't afford to stop, to stop rolling, right? And I was listening to one video on uh, what's going on over at Prime and how they were quote unquote a, a good company uh, back in the day, whatever that means. But at this point now, it's just a puppy mill too. You know, puppy mill in the sense of it's more important. They're not actually making money on freight no more. They're making money on leasing trucks, robbing people. Right? Come on over and be your own boss. I mean, you won't have a say in anything you do because we'll, we'll make sure that we starve you to the point where you never say no again, right? But uh, we're proud people. And, um, you know, we, uh, we jump at the chance to, uh, to be an entrepreneur. 
and to, uh, to, to make it on our own and to persevere, right? Uh, but the truth is, is it's a, it's a lose-lose situation from the, from the jump. <coughs> <coughs> With these lease programs. It's a lose-lose situation from the jump. You know, they're paying uh, five, six thousand dollars a month for these lease trucks, and then they don't even get to keep the trucks. They don't even own the trucks, right? They roll them into a new truck because they have standards uh, across the board of the company where you can't drive that old of a truck. So if you still want to continue pulling the freight, you got to get yourself another truck because they got to be a certain age. You, you know the drill. And then they sell that truck. And so, like I said, this this whole premise of, you know, we're going to, you know, making money on freight, that, that, that doesn't even exist anymore. Why is that? Pretty, pretty obvious, isn't it? Pretty obvious. There's no money to be made on the freight. <laughs> getting all gobbled up so yeah i mean you can't you cannot you know fix something that wasn't built properly you gotta fucking tear it all down right and that's what's happening right now and and and, and i made a video about it before saying like uh these people these fellow drivers right that are um uh, pulling uh, line haul freight, right? Dropping hook freight, going up, going, uh, going, uh, you know, 300 miles up the road and 300 miles down the same road again, day after day, five, six days a week, whatever it turns out to be. Those jobs are coming to an end, folks. You best be, if you want to stay in this business, you best be finding another job, something that you're actually providing a service. Right, because they don't see this going up and down the road. It doesn't have any value anymore. There's uh, there there there's uh, techno there there's already technology in place that that can do that. They don't need uh, monkeys in a seat no more. <clears throat> right? I'm not calling anybody a monkey. Call me a monkey. Meat in a seat. Monkey in a seat. You know, same shit. I'm just saying that if you have, if there's not a skill attached to what you're doing behind that wheel, wheel when you get to the other end and you don't actually have to get out and, and, and perform a skill and no opening doors, I mean, that's not a skill, right? Obviously, obviously not. You know, putting up a load bar is not a skill, right? And, um... Yeah, I mean, uh, zero education, zero zero barrier to entry, and 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 this is what you're this is what you're ending up with. So it's a pretty uh, dismal situation that we're in, and, and everybody's looking. I I can remember uh, before first quarter, right? So last quarter of last year, going into first quarter, and and uh, you'd watch, I'd watch these uh, channels like Freight Waves and and uh, other channels that take you know all this stuff and they put it into a machine and they come out and they bleh, spit out some kind of bullshit about how they predict it's going to be. Um, I, I can tell you that uh, things are going to get worse before they get better. You know, they're going to get worse before they get better. And um, much worse. Not just a little bit worse. And I hope everyone's prepared for it. I know I'm not. I'm definitely not prepared for it. Uh, the only the only preparation I've done, and I would I would encourage others to do the same thing, and I've said it before as well. Get into a niche, a niche market uh, where they're pulling contracted freight, or at least they have uh, a, a huge 
large, you know, customer, direct customer uh, relationship. They're, you're not working for a, uh, you're not working for a transportation, a carrier, a transportation company that's working exclusively off the load board. That's my opinion. I, I think you're I think you're playing with fire. I think that it's a, it's an accident waiting to happen and there is zero job security in it right now. Zero. So you know, most of us out here are in, in such poor health. You know, like what, 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 do, do what? Manual labor. I, I, I got a hard enough time getting back up into my truck. I, I got a hard enough time walking uh, uh, 70 feet to the back of the trailer. I mean, oh my God, I'm out of breath by the time I got to go get coffee and take a piss in the truck stop. That's why I piss at the fuel island. <coughs> yeah. Most of us out here are, are, are one, uh, one high blood pressure, one high blood sugar test away from losing our CDL. Vrai ou faux? True or false? I mean, I, I, all you gotta do is pull up into the next fuel island and what a, you know, 10, 10 fuel pumps out there, uh, uh, you know, Seven out of the ten, eight out of the ten are, uh, you know, just a nightmare waiting to happen. But that's depression, man. Depression and mental illness, mental mental health is uh, is is weighing heavily on uh, on 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 a vast majority of the drivers out here anymore. It's a lot of pressure that uh, we're under to. Uh, get up and down the road uh especially if you're an owner operator and you're 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 fighting uh you're fighting the the uh the brokers and you're fighting the the fuel prices and you're fighting the insurance company and you're fighting with the repairman <laughs> i mean how much are you sleeping at night don't take much for me to toss and turn i'll tell you that much and that shit weighs heavy. So you, you see these trucks screaming up and down the road. No. It's like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Get out of my way. Got bills to pay. You know? And 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 the uh, the reality of all that is there used to be a familiar acknowledgement, if you will, uh, a little bit of uh, unity out here, a little bit of camaraderie out here. But the truth is, is that things have gotten so desperate out here that we couldn't give two squirts a piss about one another. If you were on fire at the fuel island, I wouldn't whip out my dick and piss on you to put it out. Right? I got shit to do, man. And, and that's what they want. They they don't want, they as in the people who are making all the money, they don't want us coming together as drivers. They don't want us to be a, 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 a quote unquote community of people who have a, a common purpose, who are, uh, who are, uh, who are tied together, who are, are pushing for the same goals. They don't want that. Right? Because if they they don't want to deal with that, they want us all trying to chew each other's fucking heads off. Right? They want chaos amongst the people out here that are actually providing the service. I mean, you, all you have to do is look at what happened with COVID. As soon as we tried to unite, it was all call the National Guard. Call the National Guard, man. These drivers have gone and lost their fucking mind. They're they're coming together, man. They are. There ain't no way. They ain't coming together. They're too fucking stupid. They're too fucking egotistical. They're all out for, you know, 
No, man, I'm serious. They're coming together. Holy fuck, you're right. Call the fucking... <laughs> it's a true story so I don't have the answers guys but you know for me the, the writing is on the wall it's as clear as day what's going on out here I don't envy anybody that's in a situation right now where they're working for free. But from what I see and what I know, there's a vast majority of us out here that are pretty much working for free. Pretty much. Pretty much working for free. And that's pretty sad, man. That's pretty sad. And I'll tell you what, I got a pretty shitty attitude these days about my job about the job that I do, about me being out here. I had a pretty shitty attitude about it. There ain't no denying it. I can say all day about how, uh, you know, positive and, you know, push positivity and I'm really not that negative. But the truth is, is no, I got a pretty shitty attitude about it. But I couldn't imagine being in the shoes of some of, some of you guys and girls out here that are, you know, doing things trying trying to do things on your own and up against an impenetrable wall of bullshit nonsense and garbage that's what's going on right so <laughs> i wish you all good luck hope you guys have a good day we'll catch you on the next video thank you to all the new subscribers all the day oneers Driver's Lounge team, thank you guys for tuning in. Driver's Lounge, over and out.